And now the legendary Fabian of the Yard. <laughs> The year is 1954. The place, Scotland Yard. This is Fabian of Scotland Yard. Name, Robert Fabian. Rank, Detective Inspector. Loosely based on true crime cases solved by the real live Robert Fabian, this was the first police series shown on the BBC. It portrayed the police as guardians of an essentially moral society menaced by a few sinister, often foreign individuals. Thomas Ranfield, who are you? May I see your passport, please, sir? Drop that gun. That's as good a way as any of getting a man's gun. Yes, Redmond. Now you're going to go back where you came from. But for many years longer. Come on. Fabian was the very first TV detective to use forensic science in the war against crime. Sergeant Barr, take that to the crime lab for analysis. Any evidence for a man in that stuff? I think I can prove it was a man. Yes, well, I'd still like to see a woman do it. Could be a man's or a woman's. Well, what is it? This doesn't look as easy as it did this morning. Thank you. His cases also featured an unusually large number of engaged couples. the girl. She made a statement to us, you know. But he wants to marry her. It's true. I was engaged to Arthur Cole. I'm marrying Ted Enfield, you know. You must get married soon, as soon as you can. So that you can know what Tom and I found together. Mrs. Soong, for several weeks your husband has been planning to kill you. At the end of each program, the real Robert Fabian would offer some homespun homilies. There's only one way to deal with blackmail. Go to the police at once. Panic makes a coward of many a normal person. No man is so important that he can put his public life above his duty. Mrs. Song was condemned to be hanged. But before the execution date, she died in prison. Of a broken heart, I'm sure. Fabian also provided handy tour guides for the program's American viewers. Hampton Court Palace, landmark of English history. Bond Street, with its specialty shops that serve the royal households of Europe. Near the Tower of London, started by William the Conqueror in 1078, a phone call brought me to a club in Leicester Square, the centre of London's nightlife. The Raglan School, founded by Sir Lucas Raglan in the days of King George III, is a preparatory school similar in grades to an American high school. 